Good evening. We begin tonight with the Winter Olympics as 17 year old speed skater Jordan Stoles is set to compete in Beijing for the first time. The Pettit Center is where he qualified for the games and now he's about to be on the world stage for all to see. Lance Allen spent some time with Stoles right before he left for China and shares how the teenager could be a beam of light for U.S. speed skating for years to come. Let's face facts. U.S. speed skating has not gotten off to a good start in Beijing. And on the long track side, they haven't won an individual medal since 2010. Enter Jordan Stoles. We go back to where it all started for the 17-year-old from rural Kewaskum and how he could turn things around as his future appears oh so bright. I usually do it like once every 10 days. Or maybe like before a race. The kitchen at the Stoles home is made for sharpening skates. When you come out here, do you reminisce or do you think, man, I was five years old and I was in a snowmobile uh, suit and <laughs> falling down out here? What do you think? Yeah, I just, I just think back and I remember and just think of how far I've came from then. Because from age five on, for 12 years until age 17, skating on the backyard pond is Jordan Stoll's life. What did yeah. this place right here teach you? It just made me start falling in love with skating, I guess. After watching the Olympics, you know, I just tried to skate my best like how they were and go fast. The Kewaskum kid started here. When you first saw that video of you in a snowmobile suit at mm -hmm. five years old on national TV and on our air, were you mm -hmm. a little bit like, come on, mom and dad, yeah. do me like that? Just, just a little bit. <laughs> but, <laughs> just because other people called me out for it, but uh. <laughs> what did they say? What did they uh, do? They called me baby Jordan. Now he's ready to shock the world. Do you sometimes kind of sit there and pinch yourself and go, you know, I remember seeing Apollo Ono in his mm -hmm. videos when he first started or somebody else, and now that's you. Yeah, it's kind of a resemblance, yeah. I mean, it has to start somewhere, and uh, it was a pretty good start, I guess. I got lucky <laughs> with, the, with Channel the TV was on that night. Channel indeed, as he broke not one, but two of the Pettit Center records of his coach, Shawnee Davis. He told me that sometimes you'll be close to a 10 and he'll just say, ah, you did yeah. a six. Yeah, I kind of caught on to that a little while ago because I knew when something, I could tell he liked it, but then I'd be like, oh, is that a scale one to 10? What was that? And he'd be like, mm, six. And I'm like, <laughs> nah, I could tell that was, that was a 10. Once thought to be a 2026 Olympian, Jordan could medal in 2022. How do you be Jordan Stoll's 17-year-old teenager normal? Uh, I mean, that is kind of what the normal is. Just skating is everything, I guess. Just go to the Peta every day, come back, eat, and just go back. You just keep training. But it's not and, normal uh, for a teenager to set two records uh, at the Peta. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm just happy I got to skate that fast, I guess. Yet it's this pond and his humble countryside upbringing and his maturity beyond 17 and a half years that keeps this rapid rise normal. How do you deal with more of the hype and more of the recognition? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I really have to deal with it at all, but I just keep doing what I'm doing and then they can hype me up or whatever. But uh, I just try and stay focused on what I have to do. Stoltz competes in the 500 in the wee hours of the morning Saturday and the 1000 on Friday, February 18th and he's a medal contender in both. Lance Allen, TMJ4 Sports. And you can watch more stories about the games on TMJ4 Olympic Zone tonight at 630.